And Hamas has done it in three years. 8,000 rockets. And meanwhile, NBC News is on this weekend saying, yeah, but Mr. Ambassador, we all know those rockets really don't do any damage. Excuse me? How many people have died? How did they even get away with something like that? Answer? I've worked in the mainstream media. I've done a lot of things. I've taken on a lot of fierce, fierce enemies. I have spoken truth to power at the highest levels. But there is nothing in my career that has been harder than saying the truth that I stand with Israel. That Israel is not the aggressor. There is nothing more difficult. It is phenomenal to see it in action. When we did Agenda at CNN, the Agenda Exposed, you wouldn't believe the hoops that we had to draw, uh, that we had to uh, climb through to be able to show you the exact videotape coming from the Arab world, the the propaganda against the Israelis, the Jews, and the Americans. Yeah, of all the things we talked about, that was probably the most difficult to talk about. Same thing at Fox. The most? Would you agree? Yeah, pro- yeah, probably I mean, one of the one of the two or three. I would say but definitely the top at CNN, though. Do you need me to remind you? No, I'm I, I'm uh, I'm just thinking of some other things that yes. were. Um, it is it, it there was nothing more um, dangerous for our career than to s- stand on the side of Israel. And everything that we did over at CNN on the Agenda Show had to be cleared through the Arab desk. Remember that? It would it. it it's incredible. So you're getting the Arab perspective when you're watching the mainstream media. Now, New York Times, Gaza, as Gaza clash escalates with deadliest Israeli strike. So they're focusing on how many Israelis, I mean, how many of the Israelis have killed instead of the other way around. Right below that, brigades that fire on Israel are showing new discipline. That one is interesting, isn't it? I love that. They're showing new discipline. They're only firing their rockets, but they're trying really hard to not fire them into apartment buildings. Oh. How about this one? Front page of the New York Times. An emboldened Hamas makes new demands. Netanyahu holds fast. Cairo. Emboldened by the rising power of Islamists around the region. The Palestinian militant group Hamas demanded a new Israeli concession. I'm sorry. Could you read that one to the feeble-minded and Bill Crystal? 